Calamari rings. Are you listening? The pot of sauce. The fish is sizzling. It's a beautiful thing to cook and to sing. You're eating in Milano's Wonderland. I get to feed a fat man in the kitchen. <laughs> this is Cooking in Brooklyn with Danny Milano. And I'm Danny Milano. And today, we're making a zuppa de pesh fried diavolo over linguine. Please, for the spirit of Christmas, go to GoBridgeSide.com and support our Patreon. Now, Italians, we don't eat meat, so this is a perfect dish for Christmas. So with no further ado, let's dive right in. Hey, go bridge side. All right, so here's the ingredients. Dave, the candy cane, please. Choice of pasta, I'm using linguine. We got some shrimps, some scallops, some calamari, chopped garlic, red pepper flakes, chopped parsley, some chopped white onion, little neck clams, one can of peeled plum tomatoes, some white wine, and salt and pepper. Let's grab our olive oil and turn our flame on. Then we're gonna grab our garlic. Our white onions. Give that a little mix. Then we're gonna grab our red pepper flakes, and we're gonna grab our fresh parsley, add a little mix. And then we're gonna grab our white wine. All right, so now I'm gonna squeeze these tomatoes. I hope your hands are clean. Hands are clean. Dave, it's Christmas time, all right? All Don't right. bust my bells. My hands are clean. All right, so let's pour this sauce right in. around. All right, Dave, so this dish is, it's all about a little patience and a little bit of time in here. We're gonna throw the calamari in because that's gonna take the longest to cook. All right, we're gonna probably have to cook this for about 25 to 30 minutes. When I say timing, it's because these things right here, the scallops, the shrimp, and the clams, those cook much faster. The calamari, you, you, you cook it at a high heat or mid medium heat? But well, right now I got it on a medium heat. We're gonna let it just chill out and simmer in here. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt, but not too much salt, because you're also gonna have the salt from the clams. And we're gonna add fresh pepper. And now, we wait. All right, Dave, so now we got some time. Tell us about your traditional things you do on Christmas. For me, Christmas Eve is more important. You know, that's when my family gets together, and then Christmas Day, everybody does their own thing. Well, the Italian traditionally, Christmas Eve is the big day. That's the Feast of the Seven Fishes. But I actually celebrated on Christmas Day because my father was always in the restaurant business and Christmas Eve was always a very busy night. So he always had to work Christmas Eve. So Christmas Day was our big thing. But my family in Italy, they all celebrate the Eve. It's much bigger than the day. Well, let me ask you a question. You so said this is the celebration of seven fishes. How come I'm only getting four over here? Because this would only be one dish of the seven fishes. There's still another six dishes that would be served. I'm being shortchanged. Well, Dave, I tell you what, you subscribe to the Patreon and you uh, you dish out some shkato, maybe I'll cook you seven fishes, all right? The best part about Christmas, it's not the presents, it's about the fish. It's all about the fish. It's about the fish. It's not even the family, it's the fish. It's real nice, Dave. Well, you get to eat the fish with the family, all right, so... All right, I'll give you that. We'll give them that. You know, goes together. Dave, the calamari has been cooking for about 15 minutes now. So, I mean, it's still in a half hour here. But in the meantime, we're gonna start warming up the water for our pasta. All right, Dave, so the calamari has been cooking for about 20 minutes, and it's time to start adding the other stuff in. So we're gonna grab our scallops, and we're gonna throw those in. Don't forget the shrimp. Don't forget, the, forget shrimp. the shrimp, Dave. All right, we're gonna add our shrimp for Dave. We're gonna give that a little mix. Oh yeah. Your boy's gonna go to town on this one. I know you're gonna go to town on this one, and you better save me some. We're gonna throw our little neck clams in. We're gonna get another little shot of the parsley. And then Dave, we're gonna close the lid on this one. 
See you later. Let's add some salt to the pasta water. I think we're almost there. It's gonna boil in another few minutes. Then we can throw our pasta in. Once the pasta's done, the zuppa de pesce should be done, and the timing worked out perfect. Yeah, I think you forgot uh, one of my favorites, mussels. I did forget about Dave. We got all the mussels in the world over here. We got mussels marinara sitting at the kitchen table. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you can throw anything you want in here, too. You can throw in any fish you want. Salmon, sole, whatever you want. You can chop it up, throw it in, whatever floats your boat. Me, I like the scallops, the calamari, maybe even some scongili. <whistles> Telling you, whatever you want. Just All right, so this is a zuppa de pesce. Hey. This is a zuppa de pesce right here, okay? A zuppa means soup, pesce means fish. We got a fish soup or a fish stew, whatever you want to call it, and it doesn't get any better than this right here. Unbelievable, it smells great, David. I'm definitely having some of this too. I'm telling you right now. So I gotta share with you. You gotta share. Rocking around Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. All right, so the water's boiling. We're gonna grab our linguine, throw that right in. All right, Dave, so we're gonna let our pasta cook for? Nine minutes. When you come up with these things? I read it. <laughs> I asked my mother, too. I said, Daddy, you gotta make it for nine to 10 minutes. All right. All right, so the pasta's ready. We're gonna shut the flame off. Put my friend the strainer on. All right, of course, not even on Christmas. All right, we're good. Let's strain the pasta. So our zuppa de pesce should be ready. I'm gonna shut the flame off of that. I'm gonna grab my ladle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of this sauce right to the pasta. And we're gonna give that a little mix. All right, so we're gonna dish out this, uh, this pasta here and make a little better pasta for our zuppa de pesce. We'll start off with the clam stave. Come on with the head. I'm just gonna grab a little more sauce, Dave. And we're gonna throw that right in. Especially the clams, little clams. And we're gonna grab a little bit of the parsley. And there you have it. Zuppa de pesce, fry diablo, over linguine. Dave, not only does it look and smell delicious, it's gonna taste unbelievable. Bon appetito and buona natale, Dave. My gift from me to you. Enjoy. This is the best gift I've ever got. Let me cry. Thank don't you. Don't cry. Eat. It's unbelievable. Eat. It's so beautiful. Eat. Manja, let's go. I don't know where to begin. I mean, just look how beautiful I can. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Just gotta get a little in every bite. That's voted by you guys, the viewers. I gotta wear this Princess Santa hat over here. Messing my hair up. Miss Claus over here. Mm. I look like an idiot. I neglected the clams over Whoa, here. Oh, what happened, Dave? You're not sucking it out of the... What happened? The old, old school Dave trick. There's too much going on. Dave, man, what'd you get me for Christmas this year? Stocking full of coal. Oh, that went real nice. Probably know mm -hmm. what I'm gonna be doing with that stocking full of coal. I'll probably use it to barbecue up with some steak for your fat ass. Dave, enjoy that, because that's your last bite in 2019. Guys, thank you very much for watching Cooking in Brooklyn and for supporting us here. I wish you and your families a merry, merry Christmas, and we'll see you again in 2020 for some more Cooking in Brooklyn. Ciao, bella, and buona natale. Go Bridgeside. Guys, thank you very much for watching again. Please go to GoBridgeSide.com, support the Patreon, and please like and subscribe to Cooking in Brooklyn and the Bridgeside Network. Thank you very much.